Welcome back to Les Schwab Tire Center's Outdoor GPS, presented by Fisherman's Marine and Outdoor. Now, it's real time. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. On, we're pretty darn lucky. We have Brad Schornborn here in the studio from Brad's. Brad, it's great to see you, man. Thanks for coming in with Scott. We appreciate you taking the time. Uh, and Scott Call yes. from Brad's as Thank well. Thank you for making the time for Absolutely, us. Absolutely, man. Very this much is just a. Uh, you know, it's February, right? You've been playing this game yes. a long time, right? It's, we got a couple days left in January. The biggest time of year for manufacturers yep. and retailers is the sportsman show season. Um, and it's, I don't think that folks that are watching forget, uh, but sometimes, you know, they think, well, there's not a whole lot of stuff at the sportsman show that's new. That's totally wrong. Yeah. Because everybody, all the manufacturers that come, they bring as many of the new, newest products as they possibly can. And now that we're three years post-insanity, I don't want to even get to it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Things are back to normal, right? Mm -hmm. People are bringing in uh, different mm -hmm. products that they weren't able to bring in because of different supply chain things, this yep. and that. So that excuse is out the door. And that's why these shows are so much fun and why we want to make sure that you're aware of them. Because if you haven't been going the last couple, three years, this is the year that you're going to want to get back into it. It doesn't matter if it's up in, in Puyallup, if it's in Portland, Sac. I know Sacramento's already over. Yeah, yeah. just had that one. Just had that yeah. one. Uh, so you guys are on kind of a whirlwind. But before we talk about that, how have you been? Have you been uh, doing anything fun? I've been uh, out deer hunting a little bit this year. Okay. And I went to copy fishing. Oh. And I went uh, cool fishing a few times. Yeah, a good year. Okay. Yeah. So elk and deer hunting. Mm -hmm. Okay, we all love that. That's called perfect meat. We'll yeah, get that out there. <laughs> How was the crappie fishing though? I didn't get a chance to go chase those this year. We got a bunch of them. We fished Silver Lake. Up okay. Yeah. A cougar. We had just a ball. We got good sized fish. fish too, huh? Oh yeah. Yeah. I, we, got, we got one about 14, 14 inches. Okay. So well, for a crappie? Yeah, we're yeah. big one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> those are big crappies. Yeah, I mean, that, yeah. those are sandwiches. We call yeah. those full blown sandwiches. Yeah. Like, yeah. Very good. Well, I'm glad, Lisa, you've been uh, able to get out and, and have some fun. I know that you've been working your butt off. Yeah, yeah. show season. Yeah. We're all working our butts off, getting ready for show season. You know, we generally yeah. start in about November, getting prepared, and then the closer it gets, the more late nights you put in. Well, yeah, I mean, it's really, it's kind of what you said. It's a big time of the year. Yeah. I mean, if you think about it, for all of us, right? Yeah. Even for, for us that are just knuckle dragon fishermen, we need to get the stuff that's new, okay? Maybe we just need to get the stuff that we ran out of uh, let alone you can see a bunch of people that you've probably known for, for, for many years, but uh, you actually have your grandson, yeah. Wes Wesley, here in the studio, young man. Uh, it's a great way to get young people involved in the outdoors as well. Check out some of the cool things. And I know that at the Portland show this year, uh, they're going to have the fish pond again. So uh, young people love... Uh, Wesley will be there catching he fish. Will. Wesley's a slayer. Is he really? Oh, my gosh. I was just yes, telling the story. I, I don't mean fisherman. to get sidetracked. I was telling the story about how we encountered the same fish twice yesterday, which is very, very rare. And Wesley has seen that. So he's been around. He understands. <laughs> he's been around the block. He's been around. He well, it's the Shornborn family, for crying out loud. Right. Uh, I mean, it is what it is there. Um, okay. So how about you? You go straight from 200-plus birds to an 11 steelhead day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude. What the heck? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and like I said earlier, it's wow. not who you are. It's who you know. Okay, I'll admit impressive. that all day long. That's impressive. It was a good day. It was a oh. really good day. What hooks were you using, by the way? Oh, that's so cheap. Oh, that's that a is cheap so shot. Cheap. Oh, my gosh. Blow the uh, ball. Brad's no. has new hooks. You guys uh, have redone. Here, you guys host the show. Don't go anywhere. Hold on a second. So we just given, yeah, we brought some hooks. Been looking for them for two years. Yeah. We just gave them to Owen. Said, hey, try these out. See what you think. Uh, we tested a whole bunch of different ones. And, and you did try them. And yeah. Yeah, they five, stuck. Five, five. Well, which, five, uh, let me, can five. I be honest like I always am? Yeah, I mean, oh, there's please. some yeah. of my sponsors hate no, me for this and some of them love me for it. The previous Brad's hooks that were available for the last several years, honestly, I wouldn't fish them. I lost fish on them, mm -hmm. okay? Also, I would get some packs where the manufacturing process was so bad that I couldn't tie a freaking hook because it wouldn't go through the eye, right? Yeah. Or the hooks would be rolled over. Yep. And thank goodness, Brad's local company knew, noticed that, saw that there we was an change. issue. We had to change, yep. Hence me coming to my point that they upgraded the hooks. And uh, Steelhead, and you know this more than anybody, Steelhead are our most revered fish to us. Yeah. And there's a lot of bad things that are going on out there when you're talking about management and other things. We don't want to lose them. We want hooks that don't bend. We don't want them to break. And yesterday it was only five fish, right? But I got lucky. I went, I went five, five for five. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I mean, you, don't, you understand. Five it's only a five yeah. fish test for myself. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Size one, Brad's. 
uh, under pretty darn good sized beads. I'm not going to dive into that too far because I was told to do that. Um, never had a problem. Uh, for, the, for the dollar amount and for the amount of hooks that you get, it is one of those things that you really need to look into. Now, I, I was being just brutally honest. If this was two years ago, I wouldn't have said that. But yes, they are a sponsor, but I did fish them and I am very comfortable with them. Uh, size ones in particular. And for me, you saw me holding on to that, that line, right? I was holding yes. on to some 12 pound P line. Yeah. I, I don't get to fish with that. We've all talked about this the last couple of years. It's been 10 pound, eight pound, you know, cause water's been so low and clear. But now, of course, we got a lot of water. It was nice to fish 12 pound. With Feel like big... you're horsing it. Dude, I was, I was, <laughs> rip, I was actually palming oh, my man. spool. And pounds. if I ever saw myself do that or someone else, I'm yeah, <laughs> what are you right. doing? Right. Don't do that. Congrats. But I was actually doing that pulling on them because I, I had that kind of leverage and the hooks didn't pull out and I tried. Right. At least on one of them I tried. My buddy Moose had one that ended up in a tree on the other side. It was yeah. incredible. Uh, but anyway, not to get too sidetracked. So when folks come to the show, mm -hmm. right, either it be Puyallup or Portland, because Puyallup I think starts next weekend? Next week. Yeah. Next okay, week, and then yep. Portland is the, the weekend following. Uh, week and then, yeah, the following week. Okay, yeah. so we got a lot of these things going on for you up north. You got the Puyallup show for you, for all of us down south. We got the Portland show, mm -hmm. right? Um, mm -hmm. This is going to be a new one that people haven't really seen yet. Yep. I know the pro staffers and others have yeah. seen this. Test so, fished it, yeah. et cetera, but yeah, yeah, the public hasn't seen that. Yeah, this is this is the debut on your show. Okay. You got it. Now, this is the original uh, skinny uh, super bait. Skinny super bait. Yep. A lot of us would call a banana shape, whatever. Uh, and then you have the cup plug version. Does that pattern come in that as well? Uh, not in this one. No, that's just a skinny. Just the skinny. Yep. Double right. Diablo is the name. Why, though, would you come up with? This is an interesting. It's gold, everyone. Uh, we'll, we'll try to get a shot with the Kershaw Tech Cam uh, in a little bit. But it's gold with the green chartreuse and orange on there. How? Who helped? And I know there's always somebody that comes up like, dude, this is a great color. Yeah. Was there somebody out there like that, or was this just out of, out of your mind? Uh, to come up with this combo. No, there's quite a few people that that will collaborate. So we'll really? put some, yeah, we'll put some some colors down. Um, we'll test fish them, we'll change it. Hey, I like this. Don't like this. Let's change okay. this. But yeah, and Brad's in on a lot of those too. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you know, but Brad originally a lot of the original Quick Fish custom colors and stuff yeah. he came up with himself. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. that's a, yeah. I mean, stories that I would love to yeah. sit here and talk to you about here on the air because a lot of people don't. I mean, the history that we have here in the Northwest when you're talking about tackle, tackle development, plugs, whatever, yeah. is very, very deep, yeah. right? And Brad was right in the middle of that for, mm -hmm. for a very long time, and still is, for crying out loud. Yeah. Ron Holt had a big hand in that. Um, yeah, quite a few really? people did. Yeah, he's, yeah, quite a few people have. You know him. He's an interview that I've never been able to get. I've been doing this 16 years, Whoa. and no, I haven't been guy. able to get him in my set yet. He's a legend. Uh, yeah. But this one is called the Double Diablo. Write that down, okay? Fall Chinook fishing, yes, okay. But last year... Springers, with the original super bait, were falling by the dozens, and it was something that I didn't catch on to early enough. So that might be something to consider as well. Uh, but the double Diablo—that's the newest color from Brad's. Uh, and there's others that are coming out, but this is kind of the one that you're. Yeah, there's like, one really, of four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go over that. We'll go over that. But yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's very unique. Um, yeah, named after uh, uh, actually a friend of mine, Tony Maluski, paints a lot of my stuff. He'll okay. do my custom colors and say, hey, what do you think of this one? So I said, Tony, I need a name for this. <laughs> and, said, Can you get a name? and he's a teacher. Oh, okay. And he threw it out to the class. And I said, uh, free hat and hoodie for whoever comes That's up awesome. with a great name. Yeah. And there's a couple that came up with a name, a boyfriend, girlfriend, came uh -huh. up with the name Double Diablo. Done. All right. That's kind of yeah, cool. So, so you wouldn't have learned People that wonder where yeah. you get names for this stuff. Yeah. It, all over. Yeah. All right. Well, we got to cut to a quick break. When we come back, we're going to have your Chevy Silverado Tech Tip of the Week. We all invest huge money into our into our flashers. 360 flashers have now taken over salmon fishing unquestionably. It's not a fad. It's not something that's going away. It's too effective, right? But we got to take care of them. They get expensive, and if you don't take care of them the right way, you can ruin them. And we'll talk about that with Scott when we come back from this break on how you can take care uh, of those flashers. We'll be right back. Outdoor GPS is brought to you by Chevy Silverado and the impressive new TurboMax engine. Flex your muscle with the strongest, most advanced Silverado ever. Official truck of Outdoor GPS. 